Greetings and salutations. Welcome to another episode of 365 Days of Gaming. I really appreciate you taking our time to check out this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Greatly appreciate it, so thank you in advance. This episode is about a what I consider the evolution of beat-em-ups, at least as far as what we were getting during this time. So some of you may have heard of this game, some of you may have not. It is like an offshoot of the Dynasty Warrior game, so it's made by the same company. This game is Mystic Heroes. Now I'm playing the GameCube version just because this is the version I actually owned back in the day, but this was a multi-platform game, you know, just like the Dynasty Warrior games. The cool thing about this one is like you were playing like kids. So it had that kind of anime, you know, type of feel to it. Uh, I always like looked at it like this was the, the kids version of Dynasty Warriors, but you still have the things that makes the Dynasty Warrior type games really good. So you have the combat, you have the multiple enemies on screen, um, but the story was about how there was a sealed group of basically evil people that used this star in order to free themselves and cause havoc. So you take control of the Mystic Heroes, each person representing like an element, and then you go from there as far as your, you know, each person has their own story. So you have four characters in this game, and then, you know, you you pick, you play through their storyline. So this game has replay value. It was also multiplayer, which was always good because me and my cousin Corey would just go through this game over and over because they're collectibles. Uh, you get different like spell rooms and you can use those abilities on each character and the more you play with them the more you level them up the more powerful they become right now i basically beat this game with everybody but for the purpose of this particular you know this video i'm not gonna you know show you every single character in full detail but i will show you what the characters are so you have the option of you know the i guess the main character but not really since everybody's the main character which is she shiga then you had Lonnie, you had who I'm playing with, which is Ty. And then you had Naja, who was like the, the spear. So you had these four different characters. And the cool thing is if you wanted to know what each person did on the character select screen, you can kind of just let it sit there and they'll do all their moves, which I thought was really cool. But of course, we're here for gameplay, right? So the game itself, like I said, is very Dynasty Warriors style. But there was also a bigger emphasis on magic. And I always thought that was something that was really cool. So you have these different elemental abilities and you know, the more you play with them, you can level them up. You can also find power warps throughout the map. And, you know, it's essentially, like I said, Dynasty Warriors. Enemies get on the screen, you got to tear them up. You got to get to a certain checkpoint. Then you fight like a boss-like character. Sometimes, you know, a lot harder than, than some of the other ones. And then you just kind of continue through the story and eventually you fight whichever main person that you have to deal with on that particular playthrough. So there's four characters that you play. There's four main bosses. You know, you see how it's all lining up. You get it, right? Yeah, we're here. Um, but this this game was like, you know, it's simple. It's easy to get into. It's fun. It's co-op. Like I said, this was to me the evolution of the beat em ups at the time because we really wasn't getting any traditional beat em ups anymore. So we kind of slid over to this. You know, this is one of those games where you can jump in, jump out. You don't need to uh, think too much. You know, you can button mash and probably do decently. Now, some of the later times in the game, you, you got to know what you're doing. Otherwise, you're going to get slumped. But for the most part, there was always, you know, there was always a way for you to kind of make it through. The only thing I, I used to hate about this is if I was playing by myself, your partner or whoever's like part of your storyline, they were never as helpful as you needed them to be. Like they would just get whooped by, you know, regular grunts. And I thought that was always irritating. But if you had a team, if you had actually had people with you and you were playing it, you know, you could do some damage. So I, I always really enjoyed that. And this is one of those games where you don't have to think too much, right? Jump in, slice people up, rinse and repeat. I'm always here for it. I think that people should have more games like this to pick from. Now, more than likely, you, you probably haven't heard of this one just because it was not as popular as the mainline Dynasty Warriors, and that's okay. But if you did hear about this game and you did play it, let me know who your favorite character was. I personally didn't have a favorite I just picked Ty because he had the Cyclone and that move is very, very, very helpful with getting people off of you because the enemies can and will put you in a blender if you let them surround you. So this is one of those get them off me moves. So I always like that. Uh, but I'd like to know your thoughts on this game if you know about it. As always, appreciate you letting me reminisce with you. Y'all have fun. Y'all be safe. Peace.